Hi, my name's Quinn. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about the Call of Duty Dragonfly drone. Uh, this is uh, a drone that my son just got for his birthday. Uh, he's just turned 12 here and uh, something that uh, I looked for a lot of reviews online and some video of flights and things like that and it was pretty limited. There wasn't a whole lot that talked about the controls or showed any of the video from the actual drone, especially outside. So I wanted to make sure and, and put that on here so people could see that, so you could review it. The uh, nice thing about this was originally I think it was $75 or $100. We actually picked it up on sale at Walmart for like $25, so a really good price on it. Uh, thought it would be a good starting quadcopter for my kid. Uh, I've just started getting into some quads here the last few years. I've got a uh, Promark VR drone and also a DJI Phantom 3. Advanced, so some much nicer ones than this, obviously. But uh, this is a, a great little starter one that I thought maybe would be good for him, him to use. So um, the obviously I've already opened it and he's flown it, so this isn't an unboxing or anything. But as you can see on the box, it does have Wi-Fi transmission, auto hover, camera shoots, photo and video. Uh, it does tricks. Uh, there is Wi-Fi live streaming to your phone, so you can actually. Uh, view the video live, which which is pretty nice, especially for a pretty inexpensive drone. The uh, drone itself is pretty decent size. It's not a mini, but it, it's a decent size. It's uh, real. I mean, if you play Call of Duty at all and see the Dragonfly drone on there, it, it looks exactly like it's uh, pretty sweet looking. The uh, camera is actually right here on the front. Uh, it points about straight out. You'll see from the videos later. There's there's no tilting or anything like that. The battery, will lithium battery that slides up. There's a little hatch right here. It slides open. It takes about an hour to charge, and then it lasts around 10 minutes or so. So it's pretty comparable to like my Pro Mark. Uh, also, the you'll see when we play the video later that the the camera itself is not much different than the Pro Mark camera. It's not uh, it's not HD, but for $25, it's it's pretty nice. Uh, it's got uh, LED lights on the front and back. Those all light up. Will show you that it's connected. Uh, there, uh, it's a little. We've flown it inside and it flies really well inside. Today was the first time we flew it outside, and it uh, it was a little windy today. The wind is about uh, 14, 15 mile an hour, so that's that's pretty strong for this little guy. And we were in the backyard, so we had to keep it below the fence line so it wouldn't blow away. But uh, I wouldn't recommend flying it in any any wind outside, but it does work really well outside and you can get a fairly decent ways away. I don't see where it says what the, the distance is, but he was flying at the, our backyard goes about 150 feet and he was flying at 150 feet away and didn't seem to have any trouble. Uh, so let's talk about the control on here. If you play any Xbox or PlayStation or anything, it looks like a gaming controller, which is pretty nice, especially for kids that are used to using this type of controller. It's, uh, of course, there's the, the power button, then uh, your joysticks, just like any of the other uh, drones where you're up and down, uh, your, uh, this will be your forward, backward, excuse me, and uh, your, your pitch and roll and all that stuff, just like any other drone. There are some buttons here that include the stunt A, then there's a stunt B here and a flip. Obviously, the flip makes it, it makes it do flips. Stunt A and stunt B, one does it, it spins really quick this way, and the other spins in a large circle. So those are those are pretty sweet, and you'll see him do those later when he's flying it out in the yard. Uh, it does have auto takeoff and auto landing, which is really nice. It has uh, one key return, so it's got your home button. And then it also has your headless mode. And if you're not sure what headless mode is, uh, I talked about that in my, my ProMark video, and you can take a look there. Uh, the mount here for the, the phone is actually a pretty nice little mount. Uh, I have an iPhone 6 with an OtterBox on it, so it's pretty heavy. And this holds it really tight. It's just got, you let the set screw go, put in where you need it, tighten it down, and it holds it really steady. So, uh, in fairness, it's it's a really good controller, and really good little drone, especially for the price. So with that, we're going to show you some video of us flying it outside, uh, get you a good idea of what it looks like.
Yep. What is going on? Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. There you go. Yep.